What's up, everyone? It's your boy Norn Rad89 here, bringing another review today. And you know what time it is? Rick and Morty season five, episode five dropped. I know I'm a little late on this one, but I got caught up doing some other videos that I did throughout the week, like my film theory for Dreamscape, a couple other rad movie reviews. So if you haven't seen those, go check those out for sure. I got some pl plenty of other videos on the channel for you to watch. So we're gonna be talking some spoilers today. So if you haven't seen this episode, go run out and watch that, and then come back and check out this video. So let's get down to this review. So Rick and Morty Season 5 Episode 5 is quite a banger for me. Being a Hellraiser fan, when you introduce Cenobites into your universe, that's like right up my alley being a horror fan. So I was like really happy with that. And the episode kicks off with Beth trying to ask Jerry for a favor. And then Rick's like, nah, you know, it's it's guy's night. Me and Jerry are hanging out and Beth's kind of confused. Like, you know, since, since when do you want to hang out with my lame, you know, husband Jerry? And, you know, Rick being Rick, of course, he has like some kind of secret agenda if he wants to hang out with Jerry. So then we cut to an alley with Rick and Jerry and, you know, Jerry's like, oh, can, can I please, please, can I solve the hell cube this time? And, you know, hands it over to Rick. And like once I saw that, I was like, oh, yeah, man, we are finally getting it. The introduction of the Cenobites. I was really happy with that, too, because they did Scary Terry back in the day, which is kind of like a play on Freddy Krueger. And to add these characters in, you know, which is an homage to Pinhead and the Hellraiser franchise, I was really happy with that. And their whole thing is, you know, pain, like anything that's, you know, like it's lame or something that you hate or, you know, would be displeased with that's going to give them pleasure so it's like kind of like that reverse effect thing that goes on with you you know what i mean <laughs> then we also have a cool side story with morty and summer as morty invites the new kid to to the house and summer's like you know this this is a big deal man we got to impress this kid we got to show him some crazy stuff or do something cool you know and they he's over there he shows up morty's kind of like falling flat doesn't know what to do summer can't really like they can't read this guy they don't know what he likes and then you know of course he wants to check out Rick's ship, so Morty has to kind of talk the defense system down of Mo Rick's ship and, like, you know, win her over so that they can jump inside of her and, like, use her to fly around and do some silly-ass antics. But lo and behold, the ship only lets them do this because she blackmails them, takes pictures and all kinds of photos of this stuff, and threatens to tell Rick unless they let the ship do anything and everything that she wants to do. So she actually is feels tied down by Rick, too, sometimes, so the ship wants to go out and do some crazy stuff as well. Then we cut to the karaoke bar with Rick and Jerry, and they're having fun with the Cenobites. You know, Jerry's up there singing some dope songs, and then Beth shows up, and she's kind of confused she's like what's going on here you know what I mean kind of thing and all this stuff and then you know it's just really funny to see that aspect of that I like Beth and Rick you know their their play and the way they interact to, with each other is a lot different compared to a lot the way the other characters interact with each other but then Jerry actually does end up finding out that Rick is using him and kind of changes and messes up the whole vibe of the area. And, you know, the Cenobites just go apeshit, start killing everybody in the bar and everything and slicing them up and using them and like ripping them apart. Steal Jerry and then, of course, Beth and Rick have to hop into the hell dimension to go rescue him. Then after all the silly stuff that Summer and Morty get into and the new kid with the ship, they end up getting arrested by these galactic police and all this kind of stuff. They're being interrogated and everything. And then and lo and behold, the ship shows up but has like mind controlled like with this chip, this lady, like this alien lady. And she's just like, she's she's dead. Like this lady's dead, man. And this ship's just using her body as like this meat puppet talking to them, telling Morty and Summer that they should just pin it all on the new kid and all this stuff. And that he's just like wasteful. And like the whole reason their night went to crap was because of him. Like, oh, man, it's just really funny stuff because they went through a lot. The ship tried to hit on like a transformer bot. They, you know, freaking did some mailbox run bys, knocking over some mailboxes, stole some drugs. Like they did a lot of wild stuff with the ship. But of course, the ship breaks the out and they end up on this crazy police chase and have to get home before rick and the adults and then you know everybody of course the kids get there the ship cleans up and all this stuff and then you know rick saves jerry and beth and them show up back at the house and it's just kind of like this play out it plays out kind of like this normal evening like a normal night of like you know when the parents come home and the kids were left alone like you know what were you guys up to? You guys get into anything? And like, it's just funny. I like how Rick and Morty can make so much like simple family things, you know, be the end or be like the key aspect of their episodes. But everything else is so extravagant that happens in the show. So overall, in my book, this episode's going to get an 8 out of 10. I had a thoroughly a good time with this episode. It was a blast for sure. I said like, especially being a horror fan, it definitely hit like a special place in my heart for me. 
Thanks for hanging around with me, y'all. Don't forget to drop a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content that I put out. And like I said, go check out my other videos. I do some rad movie reviews and some rankings and a bunch of stuff like that. Got a lot of content for you to breeze through in my playlists and everything. So thanks for hanging out with me, y'all. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.